Hey guys, welcome back to another Subaru video. It's gonna be a serious this time. A serious, serious, a very serious. <laughs> guys, what I got here is an 11 WRX in blue. Well, this one's a little bit special. A little history on this thing. It was bought by a fellow, a friend of my friend, uh, let's say five years ago, I'm not sure exactly. And it was fine, you know, it's a 2.5 engine, five speed, no issues. Uh, the guy took it to a mechanic to do his timing uh, job, timing belt. Uh, two Days later, I'm guessing. Now, this is like a you know short version of the whole story. A couple days later, the something went wrong and the car, the engine ceased. Okay, not sure what happened. Obviously, the guy whoever has done the timing job did a shitty job. So, anyways, so the guy he did didn't have any 2.5 engines at the time, so he offered a free. 20x which is a 2.0x version of the ej which is a japanese made found in foresters impresas uh others whatever other other subarus back in japan it's a it's a pop popular swap uh here in america so this thing actually has right now it has the 2.0x so the guy did the swap but the car never ran right it was uh, bugging down didn't uh, the the 2.0 has exhaust and intake and exhaust avcs but the car doesn't so it's not so this car is not equipped with exhaust avcs that doesn't have any you know provision harness even for the exhaust avcs's right but the engine has so there's just two plugs hanging down from underneath the engine missing its avcs so anyways so this car actually ended up I first seen this about a year and a half, maybe even two years ago. Uh, the guy came here. It actually sat for a while too. I think it sat for two or three years, maybe longer. Because the guy, you know, he's been spending money on it. Nobody could really take care of it. And he kind of got, you know, frustrated. And you know how it goes. You know, you put so, so much energy into one thing, then you kind of just, ah, you know, I've had enough. So this actually, this car actually ended up. The previous owner brought it here, with the AVCS issues, all kinds of idiot lights going in, inside, you know. Uh, so what I told him, you know, I can't take care of this because you know I I don't know enough about this these swaps. You need to take it for a tune, most likely, and um, you know the tuner should know what to do. Turn off all these, because it's a it's a different engine, you know. It's got, you know, the ECU won't didn't recognize, rec fully recognize this engine, let's say, in the short terms. So I basically sent him, sent him off. Kinda, kinda gave him advice and recommendations for some shops in the area. So I guess the car went back to park, being parked. So this, this friend of his friend buys it from him, right? At the same state that it was, didn't run right, brakes were shot. It actually was here for a brake booster. I'm gonna put up a link, reminder to self, link for the brake booster. If you feel like changing your brake booster, watch the video. So I did the brake booster. I also did calipers, all of all four calipers, tires, obviously pads, rotors, the brake booster. Checked for vacuum leaks, replaced a few vacuum lines here and there. And I already forgot what else I've, I've done. Anyways, so to a a nearly it got actually towed here the first time to a nearly non-drivable car to what's going to be a race car yes let's take a closer look and you can start as usual underneath the hood so voila you can tell some of you that have the 2.5s you can see the intercooler is different there's the new brake booster here are the replaced vacuum lines and you can see it's got I guess the the my body actually put this on we got a we're gonna replace this I 
no, this is actually replaced. Never mind, this is replaced. You got a new battery. We got a, a new blah valve. This thing actually sounds pretty pretty nice, pretty good. A nice a mild, nice mild rumble to it. So you know, nothing special, right? So far. Let's start with the plans for this car. We got a lot. I mean a lot of work. An IAG oil catch can. What is this? EC, OBC. Oh, these are the brake pads that I put on. Got a battery. Okay. What's in there? I think that's the fuel kit for E85. Here we have some Oakland's used coilovers, which are really good actually. We got some CV axles. And we got a drive shaft here. And I'm, tell I'm going to tell you in a second why we need all that stuff. We got an E85 kit. We got a we got a Subaru in here. Okay. There's the drive shaft, the axles. What's this? We got TGV gas or intake gasket, TGV gasket, whatever. Rear differential gasket. What's in here? Here we have. Oh, it's the shifter. Okay. We got a shifter here by. Who knows who? Blank box, that's fine. You got some Motul oil. And we got some seals, more gaskets, axle seals, and whatnot. And there's more coming. Why all this stuff? Because we're doing a swap. So we're going to be swapping this already swapped engine back to 2.5 which is going to be built then we're also going to be swapping the five speed transmission that's in it to a six speed transmission that came from an, a legacy something from japan which is a mechanical dccd rear differential we're also swapping and you know we need the, a different starter we also need a different clutch flywheel all the, the whole kit basically rear axles need a swap i think the front axles stay the drive shaft needs a swap uh so the engine swap swapping the engine the drive shaft the, there's, there's gonna be a lot of swapping going on guys just, a, just swap here swap there you know oh yeah almost forgot I'm also going to be installing a, or fixing, I guess, the infamous problem with the WRXs, if I can find it. All right, this is the 08 to 14 WRX and STI firewall spot weld replacement install accessories kit. Which means when you press the clutch, or is it the brake? I guess it's both, I don't know. Could be the brake. We're gonna be... We're gonna be replacing the... Shit, wrong car. We're gonna be replacing the mount for the pedals. Yeah, I think it's the clutch. It's not as smooth as it should be there's like unwanted uh, movement like when you press you know you have the arm going up to the firewall that's where it's attached and supposedly the welds give up and the firewall that the whole assembly there flexes and it gives you this different weird feel and a kind of a squeaky noise too so that's gonna be a fix it's gonna be much easier without the engine in I suppose check out these Sticky tires, Falcon, RT660s. Also going to be installing a an IEG competition oil pan. It's a necessity for this for the for these engines if you want to track your Subaru. But I, you know, I kind of want to makes me want to say something about 
specifically Subarus, you know, even, you know, especially STIs, WRXs, NA Imprezas, even even Foresters, Outbacks, all these swaps, swaps out there, I guess the legacy uh, wagons also, bug eyes, uh, Hawkeyes, everything, right? Almost all Subarus out there eventually get modded. You know, young guys buy it, which most don't know what the hell they're doing. They they start modding their cars. You know, I may be talking to you. Listen closely. You now let's let's throw on a, a you know so it makes a, and then the engine blows up without without a tune obviously. So if you do a mod, get a tune. Talk to your tuner. Don't put an intake on without a tune. The the product, the minimal the absolute minimal modding that you can do without a tune is a catback exhaust. That's it. Maybe a drop-in air filter. Anything anything besides that, you need to go get a tune because you're slowly destroying the engine. And don't be blaming, if you don't, don't be blaming it on, on the car, okay? Now, obviously, you know, this is not a perfect car. Subaru is not perfect. It's got its own faults, you know, like rod bearings, you know, head gaskets on, on some, not the turbo ones, and they ones. What else? You know, not just rod bearings and head gaskets. It's, it ain't much, okay? What else is there? Oh, that, there's this thing, uh, oil starvation on track days with a stock pen. Yikes. Which, you know, brings me to this car again. We're gonna do it right, guys, okay? So this is gonna be an example of modding your Subaru, whatever it may be, installing the necessary parts and, and make it real <coughs> and uh, make it real excuse me make it reliable <laughs> on a track you know an autocross that's why that's why you these companies like IEG for example good good guys good products competition oil pen that's that's probably the first and the oil pickup too that they they sell it's a whole kit I think it's seven hundred dollars it's expensive but you know it's it's gonna save your engine. So you're gonna pay seven hundred dollars, or you you want to pay you know a few thousand, three, four, five, six grand for a new engine. Your choice. So that's that's what I'm getting at. Uh, you know, do your research. Uh, ask people around. Watch YouTube videos. Do some more research before you start changing the blowout valve. You know, or something like that, which you don't really need. I still have my original, I think, the blow-in valve, because it doesn't blow out, it blows in. On my 06 STI, stock, stock intercooler. And it's it's fine. I'm pushing, well, I don't know what I'm pushing, but uh, it's not slow, okay? If you don't need, to, I mean, obviously, I still hear the psh psh noise, but it's coming out of the intake filter, which, you know, it's not as loud as may you may like it, but it's fine with me, you know. Why buy unnecessary parts if you don't have to, unless you like it. So, guys, uh, what was I saying? If I come across something that's difficult or different, I got to mod something, make a bracket, whatever it may be. I'm gonna obviously record it, let you know what to do exactly to be successful at this kind of swap. You know, front to back. I mean, remember, we're doing everything. We're doing the whole, the whole drivetrain. Engine, transmission, rear diff, along with some mods. All right, guys, that's all for now. Uh, See you in the next uh, video where I'm sure something's going to be apart. See ya.